Hey beautiful people, today I'll be installing this popping curly 13 by 4 lace front wig. This is the 14 inches that I'll be rocking today. This hair is absolutely very full and thick and it is definitely versatile. If you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. what's up what's good what's popping my islanders your favorite island girl is back and today we are back with another hair tutorial today's video is in collaboration with wiggins hair can we get how beautifully packaged this box is yes 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 so without further ado let's see what is inside of our package so today we'll be working with this popping curly unit but of course you know as per usual we'll be definitely saving the best for last and we're gonna see what is inside of our package so the first thing we got was a um, restorable or reusable bag so this is used to store right here and of course you can see Wiggins the socials you can go ahead and screenshot to follow them on all their socials we got a pair of 3d lashes as well as a pair of wig cap and of course this is the HD which I am living for we also got a melt band which is branded which you know a girl will always appreciate it's banded it's branded sorry and it also has a velcro and we also got a edge brush this is the unit that we'll be working with today i decided on a medium cap and this is a 250 percent density so you know the hair is really full and i am working with the 14 inches here of course and of as per usual the hair it is a 100 human hair so guys this is the popping curly 13 by 4 lace front wig and as per usual all the details for this unit will be of course linked down in my description box so the inside of our cap as you can see our cap is you know properly constructed as you can see there and we have i believe three combs that came inside of our cap as well as of course our um, adjustable um, band on the inside there and for extra security we have those two adjustable straps towards the end which you can go ahead and adjust that depending on how tight or how loose you want your wig to be but the wig comes custom in terms of small medium and large so this is a 13 by 4 lace wig and as you can see the lace is lacing the curls are curling popping curls they say and they did not lie so this is the unit outside of the package and the curls are definitely natural looking so i am working with the 14 inches today however this unit comes between 14 to 20 inches so it's all dependent on you um exactly what you would like so as you can see the knots are actually pre-bleached already but just to get that to fit my tone just a little bit more as per usual i'm going to go inside of my cap using my foundation just to basically tint that down to match back my natural complexion I had my hair previously con rose. I just used some of my edge wax to basically tame my edges and I'm gonna go ahead and brush that back so when I go ahead and apply my wig cap it gives me a really smooth transition and I am living for this HD wig cap if I do say so myself so today I'll be doing the ball cap method which you know are gonna give us the illusion like what lace so I'm gonna go ahead now and apply that over my hair and just to snip away just you know kind of free the ear i'm doing that to each of my ear and then i'm going to go ahead and now with my got to be um spray um adhesive this is what i like to use i find that this one works yeah so I, i'm going to go ahead now and use uh, use it twice basically um first and then then use my blow dryer on the cool or cold setting to get that dried all the way through and then i will be um, repeating this process two more times after i have uh, completely dried my glue i just ensure that it's all the way tacked down i'm going to go in uh, as well with my foundation just to tint um, my wig cap a little more because you want to have uh, that real seamless look and i am loving the fact that this is a hd um, wig cap so wiggins definitely has a point on my board apart from the unit that is really so already nice i absolutely love the wig cap so i'm going to go ahead now and just remove the excess portion of my wig cap which 
which is just basically cutting from my ear first and then i'm going towards the next ear and just removing that and then bring that all the way back and just removing the excess if you want you can go ahead and apply another wig cap um, towards the mid section as well as the back but i am not really fussy about how it looks because everything will eventually be covered To have my cap all the way melted down i'm going to go in now with my got to be um glue and i'm going to go ahead now and spread that across usually i use the um the rat tail comb and get it down but i realize that my fingers are just as effective but once i spread it with my fingers i use the rat tail comb to actually ensure that the lace is melted and can we get into how pre-plucked and how nice this lace is like when you when i did tint it like you can see exactly what we are working with and i was super excited to basically install this unit so i'm gonna go ahead now and pretty much pull back my um, rubber the rubber band that comes inside of the cap I pull that over and i usually just secure the back with the combs and i do the same thing for the sides as well um, and then i'm gonna go ahead now and basically ensure that the glue as well as the the lace everything is intact because you don't want everything to be laid all the way down so the i find that this cap was just a tad bit bigger than my head so i just went ahead and made a split where i'm gonna have the ear tabs removed so i'm just gonna go ahead now and melt down my wig on to my scalp just you know i want that flawless look in the meantime i'm going in now with some conditioner water this is pretty much my conditioner with a little bit of my daily moisturizer mixed in some water and i'm going to go ahead now and to reactivate the curls and as you can see guys the curls are giving this hair is very thick it's very full and trust me the density is to 150 percent i had no qualms as you can see little to no shedding which i absolutely love so i'm just gonna go ahead now and finger comb just to ensure that i get my curls in and yeah what i love about like a curly here is that it has little to no maintenance going to go ahead now and remove the extra ear tab which i eventually slit and then i'm gonna go ahead now and remove the lace i do have some film from my glue which i am i'm going to fix it trust and believe so we're gonna to get to the nitty-gritty of it in a few but for my lace i just slit that in three and then i go ahead in a zigzag motion to basically remove the lace as close as possible that i can go to my hairline with of course not removing too much of the hair itself so for my lace now to fix that 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 film that we have i just sprayed a little bit of my got to be spray on my rat tail comb and then i'm going to use that now just to get that in and we're going to have it all started out next i'm going to go ahead now with a little bit of my um powder and i put that towards the base of my hair brush that in and then i'm using a bigger brush now to basically blend that and look at that a flawless <laughs> let's talk about it and just like that your girl is done i am super happy with this popping curly wig from the wiggins hair and as i said guys this is the 14 inches in the, the natural color 1b and this hair is a super versatile because the 13 by 4 lace is like a big large area so it makes styling the hair so versatile the curls are really natural looking and when i wore this wig i got so many compliments i absolutely love the length it is really perfect and as i exaggerate guys this hair is super low maintenance because it is curly i usually do spritz with my conditioner water and i am through the door so shout out once more to wiggins here for this beautiful popping curly wig remember all the information is listed down inside my description box remember of course to like comment and subscribe to this video if you enjoy this tutorial as per usual my name is Jody, and I aspire to inspire. Until next time, guys, walk good.